Well, over recent days, there's been a buzz of excitement in Port Macquarie following news the much-loved theme park, Fantasy Glades, may be set to reopen. It all started with a Facebook page published by the current property owners, Shane and Karen Hay, and now rumours and excited speculation are rife. We'll be talking to one of the founders of Fantasy Glades, Rosemary Hobbs, shortly, but first we'll go to our to the current property owner, Shane Hay. G'day, Shane. How are you going? Shane, tell me, is it true? Is Fantasy Glades about to make a grand return? Yes, well, we um, have been overwhelmed by the support on our Facebook page that we are looking to open the park probably sooner rather than later. This is exciting news, by the way. You're saying that it's when you say sooner rather than later, what's the time frame you're looking at? Uh, time frame's a bit hard. We've still got to put a DA in with the council. Right. Um, so it will hinge a lot on that. But in the meantime, we're going to get on with starting to renovate the buildings there and cleaning up the property. Is um, there a lot of work to do? I, don't, I can imagine opening uh, a place like Fantasy Glades or reopening, there'd be a lot of work to do, wouldn't there, Shane? Oh, there is, yeah. And there's been a lot of vandalism over the last 10 years while it's been closed and a lot of overgrowth. And we just need to get in and fix a few things up and, um, yeah, hopefully get it back to its former glory. Now, Shane, you and your wife, Karen, you don't even live in Port Macquarie. Why, why do you want to bring it back? Oh, I went there as a child, and um, I've been down in Port Macquarie surfing a lot, and I always loved the place. And my wife and I went, I went around Australia. On the way back, she was saying, let's find somewhere to, um, you know, semi-retire to, get out of the Gold Coast. And um, we, I said, wait till we get to Port Macquarie. It's a beautiful place. Went for dinner one night and walking around the street after dinner, we saw it in Patterson's Real Estate, um, who, thanks to uh, them, they helped us through the sale and we ended up buying the place. You must now realise that the, the, the feelings that you have for Fantasy Glades are shared by so many people in Port Macquarie. Tell us about the reaction to this Facebook page, which you, by the sounds of it, you've put up there as a bit of a, uh, a test, I suppose, to see just how the community viewed a reopening of Fantasy Glades. Tell us about the reaction. It's just been overwhelming, the support and the memories and the photos that we've got sent. They've been great. I think there's at least a message every five minutes popping up on that Facebook page. It's phenomenal. I haven't seen something like that on a local level for a very long time. No, it's been great. And look, we put it up and um, it was only 50 for the first few days. And then overnight, got up the next morning, it was up to 500 and then it kept going. And for a couple of days there, it was it, it went from 50 to 2,500 people. Well, now it's up to about 2,700, I think. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. And so many people sharing their stories, as you say, um, and very special personal memories people are putting up there. Not to mention the fact, Shane, that people are talking about Port Macquarie having not much to do for young people, not much excitement, or, or for fam not just young people, families. And this is going to go some way to restoring that, I suppose. Yes, well, what bring something back to the community of Port Macquarie where we want to live out the rest of our lives. To be crass, clearly you must believe this can be a profitable venture as well? Yeah, well, you know, like you can't say it's not about the money. It'd be nice. Well, it's a, it's a business. It, it's a business, of course, and we've, it's going to take a lot to start it and, um, and to keep it running because we want to keep adding to it as we go. And, um, yeah, we, we're just going to put all the profits back into the park until it's to its former glory and we want to add um, a few th extra things like we love birds and breed birds so we want to put in a bird park and a petting zoo and a few other little things for kids, you know. How similar is it going to be to the old Fantasy Glades? Yeah, well, we're hoping that we can get 80% of it back to its former glory. Uh, like, we are going to try to buy back the um, some things that went out along the Hastings River Drive there. Yeah, now, uh, just on that, that, that on Hastings yeah. River Drive was a, a potential site at one stage. There was talk it was going to reopen down there on Hastings River Drive. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Uh, look, I can't say. Uh, I've heard rumours that the council or someone found some frogs on the site and they stopped them filling it or something. Wow. And, um, yeah, but all the stuff's there, and uh, I have had a talk to... The person who owns it, and we're going to try to catch up with him when we're down in September. 
Wow. So you have got a lot of work to do, Shane. Just just finally, how excited are you and your wife, Karen, about um, embarking on a project like this, which uh, means so much to the community as well? Oh, uh, look, we're, we're just over the moon. We're, we've met some lovely people in Port Macquarie. Um, there's a couple that live very close. Hello, Shannon and Kylie. They're probably listening. They've been mm-hmm. looking after the place while we're away and mowing and cleaning up. They're a great couple. And, um, you know, we've also been in contact with Rose Hobbs, the former Whitaker, yep. Rose Whitaker, and um, she's a beautiful person as well. It's just been a, such a heartwarming um, journey through this. And my wife always wanted a church or a castle to do up. And uh, now she's got both, so she can't complain anymore. <laughs> That's great, Shane. Well, look, it's it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you for clearing up the rumours, because I tell you what, Port Macquarie is a buzz at the moment with this information since the Facebook page went up, and there is a lot of misinformation as well. So I'm glad we've managed to clear some of that up tonight. Thanks for your time tonight. Yep. And we'll stay in touch with you as you um, take your journey through this project, I hope. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, look, if anyone wants to contact us, they can jump on the Facebook site and um, or email me on fantasyglades at live dot com. Fantasyglades at live dot com. They can get in touch with you personally if they'd like to. Yeah, and we're hoping in the next couple of weeks we'll ha- we've got the domain name fantasyglades dot com dot au. Wow. So in the next few weeks we should have that up hopefully, and we'll have you know, contact pages in there as well. Fantasy Glades enters the 21st century with a website. (laughs) Fantastic, Shane. Good to have you on the show. Thanks for your time. No worries. Nice to talk. Nice to talk to you too. That is uh, Shane Hay there, one of the owners of uh, the property of Fantasy Glades, who has just told us here on Time to Talk that... Yes, indeed, Fantasy Glades will be coming back to Port Macquarie. This is very exciting news. It's time to talk, 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 talk. Well, we just heard from Shane Hay there, who has told Time to Talk that Fantasy Glades will be returning to the Port Macquarie area. Absolutely fantastic, exciting news. And I know I've already received about 10 text messages all lit up my personal mobile phone there. Um, We've got Rosemary Hobbs on the line too. Now, Rosemary is the original... Uh, uh, one of the founders of the original Fantasy Glades. G'day, Rosemary. How are you? Hello there. Thank you. I'm fine, thank you. That's great, and it's a pleasure to have you on. You're all calling in all the way from Melbourne where you live these days. That's correct, yes. We moved down here in uh, 1990 from uh, Port Macquarie. And I know that even though you are so far away, you're well aware that the rumour mill up here is in absolute overdrive. I think that we've managed to clarify things a little bit tonight. Are you surprised by this outpouring of excitement at the prospect of Fantasy Glades reopening in our oh, town? Definitely. I am, I am absolutely thrilled, as are all members of my family. Um, we always knew it was um, an extremely popular uh, and very well-known attraction, but I don't think anybody could ever have envisaged the, the real popularity and um, the joy that people are, are, you know, are feeling it maybe that this is going to come back and relive again. And it's not just popularity either. I mean, it's certainly an element of it. What I'm, what's striking me, Rosemary, is 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 the personal connection that That's, people have with Fantasy Glades. That is correct. That is. So true, my word. Um, you, you know, it's uh, it, back over the the years. Well, we started the park in 1968. My late husband and myself, with the tremendous help of my father, who made a lot of the furniture for Snow White's cottage, hmm. and also the pews, etc., in the miniature church. Um, and funnily enough, we only allowed a car park space for five cars at a time well that that was what we imagined to start with that uh, the type of visitation we would have but i mean i don't think we were open more than three or four months when we realized we would have to quadruple that or more to, to um, handle the amount of traffic that was uh, visiting didn't take, the park. Did, didn't take long to, to have a special uh, connection with Port Macquarie. Can you give us a sense about what Fantasy Glades was like when it first opened in 1968? Yeah, sure. Um, my late husband, George Whitaker, had spent most of his working life in productions of, of the pantomime Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So we wondered what we could do and thought about the idea of building a um, theme park around fairy tales and that's where the idea came in 
and particularly as George had been in Snow White, it was fairly obvious to build uh, the first attractions around Snow White. So Snow White's cottage and um, miniature church was the, the, the two of the first attractions to be built. Um, it was just natural bushland when we bought the, the land so many years ago. And um, I'm just looking here at some of the attractions that were part of Fantasy Glades over the, over the period of its life. There's the Wishing Well, which I think uh, it's just a simple Wishing Well, but a lot of people remember that. There was a monorail, which I'm interested to note was a people-powered push-pull monorail, which well, wound actually, through the rainforest. Yeah, the, the people that bought the Glades from us when we sold in 1986 put the monorail in. So I don't know a lot about that one. Yeah, but there, there were just so many attractions, though, over the years, weren't there, there, Rosemary? Were, definitely. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, you know, and we brought animation into it, which was just fantastic to see the the figures actually acting out the stories of the fairy tale. It really was so innovative. So you you continued to run the park until 1987, I believe, and then it went... 1987, that's right. Yeah, it went under different ownership until it closed in 2002. Do you have any idea why it did close in 2002? No, look, I really don't. I don't know the reason that the, um, the, pre- the previous owners did sell it for, Um, It was such a shame that this iconic attraction in Port Macquarie did close down as well as, well, all the other attractions, really, that were really so popular with all the tourists Mm. that came each school holidays. And clearly there is a demand for its return, though. I mean, if you judge by the Facebook page... that absolutely blows me away every time I go into it. I cannot believe it. It's, It's absolutely wonderful to see. When I've researched Fantasy Glades, um, and I hope you don't mind me asking this, a lot is made of the fact that you uh, are a short-statured person, as was George. That's right. Are you surprised that so many people seem to remember that fact as vividly as Fantasy Glades itself? Not really, because any person or, yes, any person really with a difference is remembered. The only Mm. difference is with short stature, of course, uh, is that we're short. That is that is the only fact. But um, it was very hard at times to separate our family life from that of Fantasy Glade. Is that right? Because people heard about us opening the attraction, and when they came along, they expected to see us there. Um, it was very hard to explain to people that we weren't the attraction. <laughs> yes, is that we right? owned it, we developed the place, But really, they were coming to see what we had developed. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Look, if it reopens, are you going to come back for its reopening? Oh, yes, my word. I would love to do that. Definitely. I think a lot of people would love to see you here. Oh, yes. Well, I would make that definite... um, you know, choice to come back for that, yes. Oh, I'm sure you're on the invitation list too. And from, from what I've just heard, it sounds like it's not going to be too far away well, too. That is really fantastic. It's, I'm thrilled to be. It really is. And I think we're all thrilled to be. It's very exciting for Port Macquarie. We often talk on this show about, uh, I suppose, the lack of innovation in Port Macquarie over recent years. Yes. It just It's a great place. It's the best part of the country to live, in my opinion. But there's just a lack of vision. And, and to have something like this returning, and it sounds like they're going to try and restore it in a traditional sense but plus add to add to that yeah. uh, it sounds like it's going to be fantastic rosemary thank you for appearing on time to talk tonight well, look, thank you very much for asking me it's been a pleasure no it's been a pleasure for us too okay thanks rosemary you have a good night thank you very much bye-bye thank you rosemary hobbs there one of the original founders of fantasy glades now you can give us a call six five eight five three four five six if you'd like to tell us what you think about the fact that fantasy glades is reopening you heard it here on time to talk talk.